Reply Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Reply. Reply is a professional AI sales automation platform. Reply helps you automate and scale multi-channel outreach so you can generate more leads, acquire new customers, and grow revenue faster. Reply also offers a free B2B contact database with over 140 million contacts that you can use to find your next customer. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Reply, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, locate the Try for Free button located at the top right corner of the page and click on it. Upon clicking, you will be redirected to the registration page. Here you will be presented with three options to create your new account. You can choose to sign up using your Google account, your Microsoft account, or by providing your email address. Select the option that aligns with your preferences and proceed with the corresponding steps. Once you have completed the sign up process, the next step is to specify whether you will be using your account for business purposes or as an agency. After making your selection, you will be directed to your account dashboard where you can explore the various features and functionalities offered by Reply. When you access your account dashboard in Reply, you will notice a top menu that consists of several tabs, each serving a specific purpose. The first tab is Sequences, where you can conveniently access your sequences, templates, and outbox reports. This allows you to manage your email sequences and templates efficiently while also tracking the performance of your outgoing messages. Moving on to the People tab, here you can access your contacts and accounts. This is where you can store and organize valuable customer and prospect information. Additionally, the People tab provides access to the app's marketplace, enabling you to explore and integrate useful tools and services into your workflow. In the Data tab, you'll find powerful features that help you discover and connect with potential customers. With a vast database of over 118 million contacts, you can easily search and filter results to find your target audience. This tab also provides insights into new market opportunities and critical industry information, allowing you to make informed decisions. The Inbox tab offers a centralized location for managing your various inboxes, including email and SMS. Here you can efficiently handle your incoming messages, ensuring effective and timely communication with your contacts. In the Execution tab, you have the ability to set up tasks, integrations, meeting books, and triggers. This helps you automate and streamline your workflow, making it easier to manage your tasks and ensure the smooth execution of your communication strategies. Lastly, the Reports tab provides detailed analytics on your channel efficiency, emails, LinkedIn, calls, tasks, and team performance. In addition to these main tabs situated on the left side of the top menu, you will find additional options on the right side, such as the ability to clear cash, view notifications, access help and support, and manage your account settings. With the comprehensive features and functionalities offered within your account dashboard in Reply, you have a powerful tool to manage your communication effectively, track performance, and optimize your outreach strategies. Next, let's see how to create a new sequence in Reply. To create a new sequence in Reply, navigate to the top menu and click on the Sequences tab. From the options that appear, select Sequences again to access the Sequences page. This is where you can create your new sequence. Before creating the sequence, it is recommended to create a new folder to easily organize your sequences. To do this, click on the plus Create a Folder button. A pop-up window will appear, allowing you to enter the name of your new folder. Once you've entered the name, click the Create button to finalize the creation of the folder. With the folder created, it's time to create your new sequence. On the Sequences page, navigate to the top right side and click on the New Sequence button. You will be presented with three options, From Template, From Scratch, and From Magic. For this tutorial, let's choose the From Template option, as we want to create a new sequence based on a template. After selecting From Template, a window will appear displaying different templates. There are two sections in this window, Reply Templates and Team Templates. The Reply Templates are provided by Reply, while the Team Templates are templates created by your teams. Since we don't have any Team Templates yet, let's choose a template from the Reply Templates section. For example, we can select the Trial to Customer SAAS template. Once you've made your selection, click the Create button. 
After clicking Create, you will be taken to the first step of creating your new sequence. The process of creating a sequence consists of six stages, which you will progress through to configure and customize your sequence. The first step is the Add Step stage. In this stage, you have the option to edit the name of the sequence. Additionally, you can add or remove steps according to your preferences. To add a new step, simply click on the New Step button located at the top right corner of the page. Conversely, if you wish to remove a step, hover over the step and click on the trash icon that appears next to it. Customization of the steps is also possible in this stage. You can modify the text within each step to tailor the content to your specific requirements. Furthermore, you can adjust the position of the steps by dragging them up or down as needed. Once you have customized the current step, click on the Next button located at the bottom right corner to proceed to the next stage. The second stage is the Settings stage. Here you have various options to manage and fine-tune your sequence. For example, you can connect your LinkedIn account by clicking on the Connect a LinkedIn Account button. This allows you to leverage LinkedIn's capabilities with your sequence. Additionally, you can access settings related to general configurations, handling replies, managing calls, and handling tasks. Once you have made the necessary settings adjustments and configurations, click on the Next button to move on to the next stage of creating your sequence. In the third stage of creating your new sequence and reply, you reach the Add People stage. Here, your task is to add people to the sequence you are creating. There are three options available to you for adding people. Firstly, you can import contacts from a CSV file by selecting the Import from CSV option. This allows you to add multiple contacts to the people list via bulk upload. Secondly, you can add contacts from your existing list by choosing the Add from Existing option. It's important to note that you can only add contacts that are not currently included in your other sequences. Lastly, you have the option to manually create contacts by selecting the Create Manually option. This allows you to add contacts to the people list one by one. Once you have added the desired contacts, click on the Next button to proceed to the next stage. Moving on to the fourth stage, known as JSON AI, you are given the ability to enable or disable the JSON AI Assistant. By clicking on the toggle button next to the Handle Replies, you can determine whether you want the Assistant to handle replies for this particular sequence. After making your selection, click on the Next button to proceed with the sequence creation process. In the fifth step of creating a new sequence in Reply, you reach the Schedule stage. Here you have the opportunity to schedule your sequence according to your desired timing. Schedules enable you to specify when your email should be sent to your contacts. You can choose from existing schedules that you have already set up or create a new schedule specifically for this sequence. Once you have determined the scheduling details, click on the Next button to proceed to the final stage. The final stage of creating the sequence is the Launch stage. In this stage, you have an overview of all the stages you have completed throughout the sequence creation process. You will notice a green tick mark next to each stage that you have correctly completed. This serves as an indication of your progress. If you have successfully gone through all the steps and everything appears as desired, you can click on the Save and Launch button to launch your sequence and set it in motion. By clicking Save and Launch, you finalize the creation of your sequence and initiates its execution. At this point, your sequence will begin sending emails according to the specified schedule and other settings you have configured. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Reply. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.